welcome back. All right, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to make this thing move. And we're going to uh, first build an attachment so we have a purpose. <laughs> the last video I said that and if you didn't watch the last video go back and click like right here uh, on the Legos and uh, it'll take you to the last video it showed you how to build a robot and I said that it has a universal mounting system on the front and the top of the robot for attachments so you can quick change attachments uh, in and out so I'm gonna show you right now how to build the base of that and right we need uh, a picture frame we need two yellow bushings two uh, axle couplers uh, they just join axles together two little red uh, number two axles and two of these uh, funky looking uh, eight tooth gears okay uh, and we're gonna save these uh, and we need two number six number six axles and we're gonna save uh, all those Legos for something else in just a second so first thing we're gonna do is we're going to uh, put the number two axle into one of the couplings and then go uh, put the other coupling on like that um, okay so actually we have a spare one of these we don't, we don't need that uh, and then we're going to kind of set it in the center of the picture frame, just like this. And then we're going to take this axle, and we have to make sure that we put it in like this. The teeth need to face, the teeth of the axle need to face in to the, into the, the picture frame. Okay, then we're going to take this, and we're going to shove it through this hole right here. Okay, this hole right here. And we're going to put it make sure we get the axle into the gear okay so now I'm spinning the gear and then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna push it even further so now I'm spinning everything I've got the axles through everything and I'm gonna put a bushing on the outside to keep it from to keep it from jiggling oh, it's a little too tight push them too tight it won't spin well okay all right now I'm going to take the this other gear and I'm going to do the same thing to this side I'm just going to hold it in there line it up and push the axle in and now I have a universal mounting I can build all my attachments off of this and it will go up and down you can make the arms go up and down things spin pick things up set things down all from here it goes on the top it pops right off you can move to the front, put it on the front, all right, and it pops right off the front too. It's easier to do with two hands. All right, let's uh, let's actually make this useful to us, and let's make a uh, let's make an arm so we can kind of uh, move things around and uh, possibly pick stuff up. Okay, uh, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use two number eight axles, all right, uh, axle coupling and two J uh, beams. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the J beams and I'm going to hold this and put the J beams on like so, okay, and I'm going to make sure that they're the same, that they're the same, um, that they look the same, because you could put them on wrong, you could do it like this, and and what use is, is what use is that if they're not lined up right yeah it doesn't work so uh, I'm gonna line them up right so they're even with each other nice and even and then I'm gonna stick uh, these through the ends these axles through the ends and then put the axle coupling in just like that make everything nice and square move these to the outside And I have myself an arm that can go up and down. For now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this on the front of the robot. And actually, um, yeah, so it goes up and down just like that. Okay, so I am ready to program this thing. Uh, but before we do, we need to 
Uh, one, have a cable, and uh, it's a USB cable on one end and a micro USB on the other. The micro goes in where it says PC right there. And then the other end obviously goes in to your, your computer. Okay, the other thing we need to know is how to turn this thing on. And it's got a whole bunch of buttons on the top here. And uh, to turn it on, we're just gonna hit the center button. It'll light up red, It'll the screen will come on, mind storms, right there, okay? And uh, we'll worry about these other buttons here in a little bit. Well, I am ready for my first activity, and what we need to find on our computer is the Lego Education Mindstorms. And the symbol looks like this. It could be blue and black with a red dot, but most likely it's going to be white with the black uh, buttons and the red dot in the center. I'm going to click it, open. It's going to boot up just like this. Um, if it comes up with an update, uh, I'm not going to update mine right now. It's telling me I just clicked OK. And I'm going to go to, over here we have a whole bunch of options. We have File, we have Quick Start, we have Teacher Support, Robot Educator, and Model Instructions. Well, we already built our robot. We have it built. So I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to say New Project. And it's going to ask me New Program. Yes, I want to create a new program. And I'm going to click on that, and over here hit open. Okay, when it loads, it's going to look like this. Over here, we have our um, kind of like notes window, comments window. We don't really need that. So there's a button right there, that, that guy right there. He, uh, he makes that disappear. You can click the book to have it back open if we were following instructions, uh, but we're not. Um, we can open and close it just like that. Uh, we also have a toolbar here. We have our save button, the comment button. We're going to be using that. Uh, zooming in and out, uh, undo, redo, and our grabber, which we can pan around. We can move stuff around. And uh, down here we have our, our toolbar. We have um, all of our move blocks. Okay, these are called blocks. We have our download button right here. That's our download button. And uh, we know that an EV3 is connected if it says connection type USB right there. Connection type USB, and it'll say EV3. It'll have the name of the robot right, right there. Now let's actually program this thing to move. And we can see it defaults with a green play button. So let's leave it there. So that says when we uh, press play on the robot, if we... Uh, if we look and we can hover and stuff pops up, we see a medium motor, a large motor, and a move steering, and a move tank. Okay, we have display. We're not gonna really use these last three, so I'm not even gonna talk about them. But we have a medium motor. This is our attachment motor. That's the first block right there. We have a large motor. We'll use this later on when we turn. We have move steering, and we have move tank. We just wanted to move forward, and we know that tanks uh, both wheels move forward and both move, wheels move back and one can move one way and one can move the other way in turn we can use a lot we can do a lot with move tank so I'm gonna pull a move tank block up right here okay now with the move tank block if get you closer if if it says a and B right here then we're good if not then we're not good. We have to click here and we have a whole bunch of options. So I want to use this block to control motors A and B. If you remember, we plugged our large motors in our robot into ports A and B. So I want to control ports A and B. And I want it to go forward with a power of 25. I know that might seem slow. These go up to 100. 25, and I want the wheels, this is rotations, if we hover, rotations, I want the wheels to go around one time. I want the wheels to go around one time. Okay, so the wheels are going around one time with a rotation of both going forward. If it's a positive number, it goes forward. If it's a negative number, it goes backwards for 
Uh, and actually, let's change this. Let's say we can say, if we click on this button right here, uh, we can say we want it to be on for seconds, degrees, or rotations. So let's go to seconds first. And let's say go on for one second. Now, uh, I'm going to save this project first before I do anything. So file, save project as, uh, and I'm going to save it as my last name. Troutline dash moving. Uh, okay, and I'm gonna make sure I save it to my desktop. Um, now, and now I'm gonna hit the download button. Um, no, I'm not. I'm gonna hit the download button after I change my actual program. So if you go up here to your program name, you can double click it and you can change it and say. Uh, moving forward okay I'm gonna move forward I'm gonna download it. I'm gonna hit the download button down here the robots gonna make that sound and I know we are ready to go so my robot is ready to go it made the sound I have to unplug the robot never run the program with that cable in and then I'm gonna come up here to my screen and I'm going to find my last name uh, in the folder menu. So right here in the folder. So I'm going to hit over and then I'm going to find, oh, it's right there. Troutwine moving. That's what I named it, right? Troutwine moving. And then I'm going to click on it. And in that folder, I have my moving forward program. So if I click this, I bet you it'll move forward for one second. I'm going to click the center button to run the program. Hey, move forward for one second. Great. We have our program that moves forward for one second. So what if we want it to move forward for one second, uh, then back for one second? Well, let's let's change seconds. Seconds are, are good, but rotations are better. Okay, we can, have, we can control how many times a wheel goes around. And the easiest way to do that is to stick a black peg in the top of it, just like that. And we can say, all right, well, we want it to go around for 0.5 rotations. So let's change this to 0.5 rotations, 0.5. So rotations, uh, we have to make sure that we're on rotations, 0.5 rotations. Okay, so 0.5 rotations, and then I want it to stop. So now we're gonna come down here to this bar, and we're gonna say, uh, wait okay there's a there's an hourglass right there we're gonna say wait one second and then I want you to go forward for another 0.5 rotation so I'm gonna come back here I'm gonna grab another move tank block drag it up here and then I'm gonna say 25 to, oop, that's a hundred I want to say 25 25 and then 0.5 okay now this block says A and B. This one says B and C. We know that our motors are plugged into A and B, so I'm going to change these to A and B. I'm going to plug my robot back in and hit download. It made the sound. We're good to go. Okay, so I unplugged the robot. I have it set up, ready to go. The arm's up. It's out of the way, so I'm going to find my program. Okay, oops. I'm going to find my program. By the way, that's the back button. I'm going to find my program and I'm going to run it. Okay, I'm going to click the center button to run it. And it's going to go half a rotation, stop, and then go half a rotation again. So if we watch it from the side, I'm going to put I'm going to put that wheel right at the top. So watch this wheel. Okay, I'm going to run it again. It went half a rotation, waited, and went half a rotation. Now it's not perfect, but it's really, really, really close. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to get on the floor and you're going to put a tape line on the floor every time there's a tile. Okay, if you're not working on the floor with tiles, use a ruler. It's one foot in between each line. And you're going to put three lines. One, two, three. Okay, just like that. So your mission, okay, four lines, just kidding. You have to have a start line. 
Your mission is to start your robot here, get it to go forward, stop at this line, go back words, go backwards, that's a negative number in the move blocks, to this line, to your start line. Go here to this line, then go back to this line, and then go here to this line, and back to this line. So you're gonna go from first line to second line, back to the first line, first line to third line, back to the first line, and first line to front line, or back line, the fourth one, back to the... Thank you.